Hi guys, it's Natalia here. I am here today to do my July favourites. Um, I was away for half of the month, so um, there's probably not as much or much variety as I would normally have. Those products that you've got already and you just drag them out and you realise why you love them so much. I have a few of them. I've got a few new things and one really, really, really exciting thing that I cannot wait to share with you. So, to start off with, um, Custom Tan what is this? Rich self tanning and instant bronzer mousse. Now this is one of those ones that you wash off after four hours. Um, shake bottle well first for best results. Apply to clean, dry and exfoliated skin with long even strokes. It also comes with a um, tanning glove as well. I know you will look at me and say why in God's name do you spray tan? And it is because um, I went to, for those of you who don't know, I went to Mexico for my honeymoon in end of June and it's their summer. It's our winter. I was not going to go to Mexico looking as pasty as I did. I know people would look at me saying, you're an NC35, you are not pasty. Um, but for me, that was pasty. If you saw the video that I, my haul from Mexico and you saw how dark I was then, you will know how dark I can get. Like I was insanely dark. So I did actually tan myself the day before we left. Purely, be the, purely for the fact that I didn't want to arrive in Mexico being pasty. I know it probably sounds crazy, but it's just what goes on in my head. It did not take me long at all to get a natural tan, though. I so. love the colouring. It gives you just that really, especially for my skin tone, it gives you that perfect bronze colour. It's just a fantastic, awesome tan. I use this on my clients. I've got some very, very pale, pale clients, and I spray tan them with it. And it looks... So many people have said this is the favourite tan that they've ever had. So natural, so amazing. So if you are looking for a spray tan, whether to do a do it yourself or go and see a spray tan artist, um, look for custom tan. It is amazing and I love it. And it's also eco certified organic DHA. So really, really good. Yeah, I'm gonna do nail pol nail things first. The first thing here is this Revita nail. These are conditioning removal wipes with a hydrating vitamin E. Quickly and gently remove nail polish while conditioning nails and cuticles on the go acetone free. There's 30 wipes in here. I think I got this from a her fashion box recently, maybe in the June, May or June her fashion box. I did get some nail polish wipes from a beauty box from a Bella box and they were like the BU or something. They are the worst wipes ever. They're damaging their shit. They don't do anything and they actually damage your nail plate. If you get them, don't use them. They're horrible. So that was my first experience with um, nail polish removers. And since then I got this one. I was a bit skeptical about trying this one because of the bad experience with my other one, but I tried it anyway. And this is amazing. This stuff is so handy to take off nail polish. I took this stuff with me and it is amazing. It works so well and it really does leave your nails conditioned. It sort of has like an oily residue, but after a couple of minutes it just has completely gone and my cuticles didn't feel dry and my whole nail, it kept my nails healthy, which is the main thing for me. So that was the Revite Nail. I recently saw these in Priceline. If you did want to go buy them, you can buy them from Priceline. I think about $16 for possibly 50 or or 100 um, little wipey things. So really loving them. I'm definitely going to pick myself up some of them. And one thing I really like about it is it's got this little... Oh shit, I just dropped it. It's got this little um, lidy thing inside it so it keeps the freshness in. The next nail polish favourite that I've got is the colour I'm wearing today. And this is... Um, this nail polish from Michael Marcus. It is in this geometric shape bottle. I got this one in my Wantable box in July. That's the first time I received the Wantable um, makeup subscription. It is an international makeup box from America and they shipped internationally. This is the colour looking for attention. The only problem is I'm not too sure if we can get this in Australia. So this might be for you American people out there if you're watching and you want to try a good nail polish. This is so opaque. After one coat you probably can get away with one coat. Um, I do two coats just out of half. This nail polish has not, not left my fingers in about two weeks. It has been on there ever since I got it and I'm in love with it. I get so many compliments on the colour, so many people asking me what nail polish is that. This is it. on the website. It is chip proof and also long lasting. So, you know, everyone says chip proof and long lasting. But for me, a nail polish lasts about two days max. And that is a good one. And so I put this on on the Sunday, Saturday night. I put this on Sunday morning. I went to the gym and I was doing some tie flips and I did chip one of the nails. But when you're flipping tires with long nails, something is about to break. So I did chip one nail. 
I replied that one on, but the rest of my nails had them on for an entire seven days. They had not chipped one little bit. They hadn't chipped. They hadn't worn. In fact, you can actually see my nail growing out from underneath more than more damage that had actually happened to the nail polish. I was amazed by that. That never happens to me at all. I mean, you know, I've got three kids at home. My nails always get trashed and... One thing that annoys me, even with shellac polishes, shellac lasts me about three days before they chip and get damaged, and it's a complete waste of money. So these are $15. I have contacted them to see if they are available in Australia or if they ship to Australia or if we can buy them from the Wantable website. Wherever, I need to get me some more of these. This is the most amazing nail polish I've ever used, and I love it. And I love the colour. <laughs> Shit, I just dropped it. Makeup products. <laughs> The one makeup product that I've dug out and I took overseas with me is my NARS uh, Bronzer in Casino. My hair just fell out of the bun, but that's okay. Um, one reason I took this one is because I thought I was going to get a little bit tanned and it is very dark. Um, that is how dark it is there. This is the only bronzer in the world that I can find that is dark enough when I'm tanned. I've recently found the Hourglass um, Cream Bronzer, which could be work. But at the moment, this is the only one. There is a tiny, tiny bit of like reflective particles in there, slightly golden shimmery, which I'm not overly fond of for contouring. But you know, when I'm as tanned as I get, I actually don't particularly care because usually it's in the summer and I'm I want that sort of bronzy, glowy kind of look. So I took that with me and I have been loving it and I, th I honestly swear these NARS products are never ending. Like I have had this for so long and I'm not hitting pan. Brilliant, brilliant bronzer for people of my skin tone. So if you are looking for a bronzer, check that one out. Um, oh, to go with that bronzer, and this is actually the cheap colour I'm wearing today and I really hate showing you limited edition shades, but I have to do this one. This is from the Temperature Rising Collection from MAC and this one is Ripe for Love. It is a satin blush and it has just, I wore this pretty much every single day. I took it overseas with me. I wore it. That's the colour there. And it's just a gorgeous kind of corally pinky kind of colour but it's not overly to at the top. It is pigmented but on my skin tone I think it just blends so well. So many photos when I've paired this, contoured with this and put this on top as a blush. I just, I've fallen in love with this. I need to go onto Temptalia and see if I can find like some dupes for this because once I run out of this I'm going to be a very, very sad person because this is the most amazing blush. Why do they always have to be limited edition? I don't know. I don't know if the Temperature Rising collection is still out in Australia. It may be in some of your Mac stores. Go check it out. But this is a magical blush and it would work for all skin tones because it's light enough for light pale people and it also suits dark skins really, really, really well. So, love that. Another blush that I have been using a lot and I picked this one up when I got back. This is the Sleek Blush by 3 and this is in the new from the limited edition candy collection. Um, this is Sweet Cheeks. I have just uploaded, actually I'm still waiting for it to upload. It's taking about 800 minutes. Um, my sort of collective random haul and I did mention in that video that I'm missing a blush that I couldn't show you. This is the blush. Um, I love this blush. It is looks a bit scary in the pan. You've got two powder blushes here and you've got a cream blush. Now let me just swatch. They're the two powder blushes. As usual, as you can imagine with sleek products, they are incredibly pigmented. They're amazing quality for the price. I really do like sleek products for that reason. So that is them on my hair. This cream blush here is so scarily pigmented, it's not funny. Um, that is just a tiny swap. It's sort of like a magenta -y, purpley magenta kind of colour. And that is it right there. It looks really, really scary, but it can blend so, so nicely. I think it suits darker skin tones. If you're really, really pale, you need to be very, very careful with it. Um, but again, same with these two. I am so glad I picked this up. I've never actually used a sleek cream blush. I've used a few of their powder blushes before, and they are very, very good. Um, but I'm so glad I picked that up. I'm going to get a lot of use out of that in summer. Concealer. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer has got to be hands down the best concealer I've ever used. It is just so full coverage and it does not settle into fine lines like it says. It is really full coverage. It blends really nicely. 
um, and it's just an all-round amazing amazing product and it comes in a lot of shades which I really really like this is in the shade medium dark one which is biscuit I think that's the darker shade that they will get actually no, I think there is a shade darker but this is the one that suits me and I love it I'm so glad I picked this up and I've heard nothing but rave reviews about this and I agree with all of them There's, you can use it as an eye primer because it doesn't crease it stays it's just amazing love 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 it. I think I mentioned my last favorite as well I've got two brushes here and these two I picked up from Mexico um, two Mac brushes I have you know, I'm not saying you need to go and buy MAC brushes because MAC brushes are expensive. I'm lucky to have a pro discount with MAC, so my MAC brushes are 30% cheaper than everyone else's MAC brushes. Still more expensive than US prices, but it's a bit more bearable. But these two brushes, this is the MAC 224 and the 217. You've seen the 217 before. It is just a fantastic brush. You can use it for applying product, you can use it for blending, you can use it for smoky eyes, you can use it for concealer, you can use it for so many different purposes. And I know Sigma have got their brush similar to this, and I know so many other brands have got brushes that are dupes for this, but this one, I don't know, out of all the different brands that I've used, I find this one does the best job. I don't know what it is about it. The bristles are just really nice and soft. It is goat hair. I just... There is something about this brush and no matter how many times I use the Sigma one or any other blending brush, I always do come back to this and I just, I've been using it a lot. I picked up, I think I got five of them in Mexico, maybe three or five. I also picked up a couple of the MAC 224s. I like this as a blending brush. It isn't, I know Sigma have got one that's very similar, but the ones that I get, they're just so sparse and they don't do anything and it just annoys me. To me, the Sigma brushes are a waste of a brush. This is a really nice brush for, you know, if you need to blend out any harsh lines around your arm, if you do eye makeup, if you want to blend out any harsh lines, I use this just to slap some transition shade just above my crease. It's just so easy to blend and I think everyone needs a good blending brush. So I think these two together, it's a happy couple. And these are like a, they're like getting married. Oh, hello, hello. Love them. Um, I've got two mascaras here to show you. One of them is a... Um, new one to me and I did put a photo of me wearing like before and after using this on Instagram and it was amazing this is the young blood blackout mascara that's what it's called young blood blackout I don't know if it's water I don't think it's waterproof I thought I would say that is the bristle there it's not much it's just your standard old-school I don't even know what those bristles are made out of but you know this is like an old-school make mascara wand and this surprised me it really did um, I liked it, it gave my lashes length, it gave my lashes volume, and it actually held the curl. That is one thing I found recently that mascaras have been letting me down. The benefit of their real mascara in particular, I curl my lashes every time I put mascara on, and about five minutes after I put the benefit stuff on, my eyelashes have dropped down and it doesn't look curled. And I'm like, what is wrong with this mascara? That is going on a... I've got a love-hate relationship with benefit there, real. This one, however, is fantastic. It just curls my lashes and looks amazing and really, really natural. So, love that. And the other mascara I've got here is one from MAC. And this is the Haute and Naughty 2 Black Lash Mascara. It's the one with the two bit of two lids. So, the way you can use this one, it's sort of got two... Two uses you can use it for like an everyday just a really nice natural lengthening mascara so you would undo this first lid and that is the brush there there's not much product on there it's a really really thin brush the well, the bristles are long but there's not much product it would just really get in there and separate and make your lashes look beautiful if you then want to go and make a bit more dramatic you're going out at night and you want to really amp up your lashes you undo this one with a colorful lid and oh my god the difference that has got covered in product thick fat chunky chunky mascara and it just I put that on and it makes your lashes look like they're false lashes it is unbelievable I have fallen in love with this mascara it is just oh my god like really this may be a holy grail mascara I have got a mascara video coming up um, two free lip products I have got the bite beauty Fruit Scrub Whipped Cherry Exfoliant. I mentioned this one in my last favourites. I also mentioned this one in my um, haul when I got this. It is a exfoliant, but it sort of comes in a really, really creamy kind of thing. The exfoliant beads are in there, and it just smells like, oh my god, cherry delight. Look, oh my god, I could just eat it. And the good thing about it is you can actually eat it. Bite Beauty is a brand that is 100% edible products. Um, 
the theory behind it is um, women ingest or digest certain amount of lip products per month or per year like a certain amount of kilos or grams of lip products whether you've got your lipstick on and you're eating and you're talking or you're drinking or whatever you're actually digesting your lipstick and some lipsticks depending on the brand or whatever you don't really know what's in there there could be things in there that probably aren't that healthy for you to eat bite beauty is 100 percent edible they say that on their brand it's their whole thing it's called bites because you could eat, literally eat it they got lipstick lip glosses lip tints they've got this and it's just beautiful 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 products you can get bite beauty from lipstick republic if you are an american also get it from sephora as well um fantastic and i saw like makeup from tiffany d mention her bite beauty lipsticks recently and they're just a beautiful beautiful brand two lipsticks i have got here i've got i mentioned this one i think i mentioned the both of these in my june favorites it's a bit boring isn't it but you know why come up with a lipstick that i haven't really been loving just because these are the lipsticks i've been loving this is the one from again sorry to mention this one but this is from the um temperature rising collection from mac it's called caliente it is just it's a dazzle glass it's kind of got chunky glitter particles in it but you don't notice it i think it just gives a really gorgeous look to your lips that's that one there and this one is my erin big cosmetic one from um in gg and this is a luxury matte lipstick oh I'm in love with this lipstick. I took this one to Mexico with me and I wore it almost all the time. So this little baby came across the world with me. This, that's how good this one was. I cannot, I can't live without this. So they are the two lipsticks that I have got there. The final product that I'm going to be talking about is quite possibly a new holy grail item for me. And this is the Bumble and Bumble Creme de Coco Tropical Riche Mask. I picked this one up. This is actually, I picked this one up just... <laughs> I picked it up at the last few days of July, so it's probably a bit of a cheat to get in here, but the first day I got this, it has just blown my mind. It's a hair mask, basically my hair's really damaged from dying from the um, ombre, I've just fried the ends, I needed something to bring my hair back to life. It was just, the ends were like really frazzled, and it's just really thick and buffy and uncontrollable. I was over it, so I asked the ladies what she recommended, and the lady at Mecca Cosmetica um, recommended me this, and... I put it in and at the, when I first, I, I talk about it in the haul video, but I'll just have a quick chat now. When I put it in my hair, um, after as it was drying, I'm sitting there thinking it really didn't do much, but then as it dried, it became so amazingly soft. Like my ends seemed healthy for the first time in years. And I did this a week ago. I washed my hair last night, for like the first, like I washed my hair last night and my ends even like a week later, are still really soft. It hasn't gone back to how it was before. So it really is. You don't need to do it all the time. You can do it, you know, every every couple of weeks. You can do it as much as you want, but I don't know. It's $42, so you probably don't want to be doing it all the time. Um, $42 for 150 mils, probably a little bit expensive. I know in America it's $22, go figure. But it's just, it is worth every, every cent. I would pay double for this I really would I'm not saying I want to pay double but I would my hair like I said it has felt so soft and I don't know if you've seen some of my videos but well this is my when I let my hair dry naturally it is just huge it is I, I can't control it my hair is like 10 times bigger than it really should be since I've used this and dry my hair naturally my hair hasn't got that crazy frizziness buffiness to it like it's still quite thick and wild but it is about half the size of it was, as it would normally be. And I'm I'm so happy I've got this. I really... It might be one of those things where as, as over time I continue to use it, your sort of hair gets used to it and it won't like it so much. But at the moment, it has just blown my mind. This is sort of going in a holy grail um, hair product for me. And I need to get more Bumble and Bumble in my life. I need to try other brands, other products of them. I can't wait. So I might have to do a bit of hair research trial and testing for different products but this is the um mask and it's just amazing if you have dry hair get this baby and that wraps up my july favorites sorry it's a couple of days late i actually filmed this one last week but um issues with deleting files accidentally um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If there's any comments or questions about any of these products, please let me know in the comment bar below. I'll certainly get back to you. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'll leave a link below to like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Apart from that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.